very excited to present the superintendent's report on this evening just to kind of bring you up to speed as to where we are and what our plans are for the summer and the fall. I know that there are a lot of questions about what will the fall look like and so I just want to talk a little bit about that today based on the information that we have um, at hand. First of all, I just would like to confirm that we were able to successfully complete the remainder of the school year in accordance with the guidance that was issued by the State Department of Education. You've heard us talk about the academic continuity plan um, that we put in place so that we could continue to provide student engagement and learning opportunities for our students and so we were able to do that. One of the things that I'm most proud of is that there was constant communication between the school and the parent and the student and so I really believe that relationships were strengthened throughout the process. Of course the safety of our students and staff is always a top priority however student achievement is also a top priority so I feel that we've met the goal of making sure that our students and staff are safe but we also met the goal of continuing to provide instruction so that we could at least close in the learning gap that we're anticipating that we'll probably see because if you think about it school has been closed since March and so instead of the typical two to three month closure, our students when they return, um, anticipating that they will return in the fall in August, that is a long period of time to be out of the classroom and so we're thankful that we were able to at least provide instruction throughout the month of May. Um, summer activities, I know you guys have kind of heard in the news um, that June 1st, as early as June 1st, we could have resumed our sum normal summer activities. Um, we set our eyes on a date of June the 8th because we knew that it would take some time for us to plan properly so that when we bring students back they will be safe and so today was the first day that we had athletes back on campus and let me just say this that June 1st date that is for students that are older than 12 so we're we're mainly only talking about the secondary level and so today was the first day that we were able to bring athletes back on campus it was a little bit different because we had a lot of safeguards and a lot of safety protocol in place um, based on the recommendations of the state um, Department of Education and the Alabama High School Athletic Association and so put some things in place. Coach Story has done a great job um, of working out the fine details and the logistics and making sure that our staff members are trained so that when our students return on today um, parents could rest assured that we were taking every necessary safeguard to make sure that their students were safe while on our campus. A July date has been established for students that are younger than uh, younger than 12 but what I like to point out is as of now we will not be operating a summer program at the elementary level in years past we've operated the stars program one thing that I would like to say is that we were already in the process of making changes to that program so that the program that we offer lines up with the literacy act and so we were already in put some things in motion to kind of change the way that we had been doing things and so what we're projecting to do um, is to the same thing that we would have kind of done during the summer we're projecting to do that in the fall so that we can target um, those student learning deficiencies and so that we can some, provide some additional interventions so again no summer program at the elementary level however we are planning on implementing a program um, in the fall anticipating that students will be returning to make up for that gap um, in instruction and deficiencies well what does the fall look like I know that's the big question on the table everybody kind of wants to know I guess the simplest answer is I do not know as of now um, the State Department of Education has put together a task force that's working on some guidance that should be released to superintendents later this month we've already done some pre-planning just kind of work out some scenarios you know well what if this happened what if that happens but we are going to wait on the guidance from the State Department before we start making a whole lot of decisions just to make sure that whatever Lynette City is planning is in compliance with the guidelines that are pushed down from the State Department. But that does not mean that we're not thinking about it, but we're not going to announce, make any announcements about calendars, calendar changes or anything else until we have received that guidance from the State Department of Education. And the State Department is working closely with the Department of Health and I think that's important as well because I know parents have a lot of questions about the safety of their student when they return to campus so we'll we'll continue to work on that and once we have the guidance from the State Department we will push that information out to the public once we have developed a plan um, for our local education um, campuses 
And so just a few um, highlights from our different schools. Excited to say that when we held report card pickup at W.O. Lance, we had 475 parents to pick up report cards. And that is awesome. a great, awesome. uh, great turnout. I'm also excited to say that kindergarten registration is ongoing. And this year, we've also made that registration process. Um, we've created an electronic format. Um, parents can still visit to school to pick up the hard copies if they like. Now, we have some restrictions in place just so when our parents come to the schools, we're not trying to be funny, but we do have some safeguards in place um, for you. But you can still access the building, and Mr. Hurd can assist you with that registration process. But this next one I'm very excited about. Um, teachers in grades K-3, through three, K um, three administrators, myself, our elementary curriculum coordinator, we will all be participating in the letters training. Uh, this summer and this training is part of the literacy act so we're going to be very prepared when our students return in the fall I'm not sure how much you know about that literacy act but there are a lot of changes that pertain to um, student proficiencies and students once they reach a certain grade level if they're not proficient there are some changes uh, that are going to take place and so we want to make sure that we are very prepared and so I'm excited to get a chance to participate um, in that professional learning opportunity as well at the junior high I had a great turnout as well um, with our parents picking up report cards, our junior high students, they received their certificates along with their report cards as well. And the junior high also published on Facebook, they published a little award ceremony. And I'm sure you saw also, moving on to the high school, you saw some of the um, award ceremonies that were held virtually for our high school students. And so we've tried our best to maintain somewhat of a, a resemblance of what we normally do for our students, although they could not be here on campus we were able to hold a lot of things virtually and I'm sure you saw that beautiful graduation ceremony that was held on May the 30th we want to thank our media outlets for live streaming we live stream from our Facebook page just had a lot of support from the community and from the media and so we definitely want to show our appreciation there and last but not least of course you know we, we still have to run our cheer tryouts and our volleyball tryouts and all that good stuff so that's actually beginning to take place this week as well and just to say um, in closing again we don't necessarily know what the fall is going to look like but you can trust and rest assured that district leadership we are very much in tune um, with what's going on around us and we will be prepared we're already looking at our technology infrastructure. I know you've heard a lot about. They're talking about maybe it's going to be blended learning if the students can't return to the brick and mortar building. But we are planning accordingly. We won't be caught off guard. We're going to do what we need to do to make sure that we can properly respond regardless of what you know decisions are made from the powers that be.